Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for taking the time every day to stop back at my channel. All right, today I'm bringing you a soup. This is a keto soup, of course, and this is a creamy taco soup. It has been freezing. My hands are so, so cold, so I'm really in a mood for some good creamy soup. So today, I looked it up online. I just looked up the first creamy taco soup I could find, and I picked the very first recipe. That will be listed down below for you. All right, guys, so here are some of the ingredients that you will be using for the creamy taco soup. Uh, I see here um, they're calling for Rotel. This is the diced tomatoes. It's a lime juice and cilantro in it and um, a small onion, some taco seasoning, which this taco seasoning I made myself uh, using the Keto for Foodies cookbook, half and half. Um, it does call for heavy cream, but I didn't have any. Any type of oil you want, I am using avocado oil. Um, and let's see, what else? Oh, and Philadelphia cream cheese. It always has cream cheese in it. I'm also using this beef broth. Now this comes from the Dollar Tree. This is not the cleanest ingredients. Um, I don't always use this but I use it in a pinch I didn't have any beef stock so I am using this just so you know we are not always clean keto we are in between lazy and dirty keto so that's why I'm using this one and let's see uh, salt and pepper um, and also I'm trying to think what else I need also, I'm going to use this butter. This will, I want to use the garlic in it and then also a little bit of the butter for a little bit of extra fat. The meat I am using is the 80-20 beef. That is the, the type of meat that I will be using today. So uh, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is you want to uh, put this on the sear button and let this get all nice and warm. And then I am adding one tablespoon of my avocado oil. It does call for two, but I'm only using one because I'm using the 80-20 beef and that's kind of fatty. All right, so the next thing I am doing is adding that butter with that garlic in it. That's a tablespoonful. I will also now be using, um, adding some onions. So it called for a small onion, so I chopped up an onion. I'm using that. And also it called for some green peppers. So I had a green pepper, which I cut up myself, and then I froze it in this little snack bag, and I just pull it out whenever I need it. So I'm also going to be using the tame jalapenos, like maybe three or four of them, not that many. Um, just a little bit of flavor because I'll be adding it for a topping also on my soup. So you just want to add those and then you do want to stir everything, get it all incorporated. I added some salt and some pepper also in this. And this is going to be so good. I cannot wait to try this. This is my first time. I've been dying to try this soup. All right, so I'm adding my ground beef now. Now, I do have that ground beef, uh, I guess it's like a meat. It breaks up the meat for you in small pieces. I love using this. Um, it is a little bit sharp, so you do have to be careful. I don't want to scratch the bottom of my foodie, so I just do it really gently. But it breaks it up so well. I use this also for hard-boiled eggs when I'm making egg salad. Chops it up really great. So I'm just showing you here how small that meat does get. It really is, it gets really nice and small. If you want your beef a little chunkier, leave it a little chunkier. But I liked it where it was a little bit small. I added a little more salt and pepper uh, beef, just for it to build your flavors. And then I am going to add a little, I thought I was going to add a little bit of oregano. I might add that at the end. Or I might have done it before and just forgot to show you. But I use a Mexican oregano. Really, really good. So I'm just stirring everything to incorporate all my ingredients. And then I am getting prepared to add my beef stock. 
oh no i decided instead of using a rotel i'm going to use this organic salsa that i got from walmart it is so so good i used a half a cup of it now here i'm adding one tablespoon of my mexican or taco seasoning that i got from the foodie so my cookbook uh, keto for foodies i will show you that recipe in a vlog actually and then i am going to use um this minced garlic i'm adding a tablespoon of minced garlic i really like garlic i think it, it adds a really good flavor and here i am adding that i'm going to stir that and this is that salsa that i use it's a half a cup it is so good i love this stuff I like it on my eggs also. It's really, really good. And the next thing I am going to be adding will be that beef stock. Um, again, I would have preferred to use homemade beef stock, but this is the only thing that I had. So I added that in slowly so I didn't splash it all over myself because I'm a messy cook. And let's see, so I want to stir everything, incorporate it. You can see all those peppers and onions in that uh, salsa. And then I cubed up my um, cream cheese and I stirred it. And you have to really wait for it to get um, melted and stir it really, really well. So it does take a little bit of time, but this is how it turned out. You still see a little bit of the cream cheese on the top, but that will get um, incorporated as it gets bubbly. So I am going to add some jalapenos, some sour cream, a little more cheese, um, and a little bit of lime. And that will be my bowl of soup. I will show you at the end. All right, guys, I hope this you like this quick and easy taco soup. Like I always say, somehow, some way, I'll have an amazing day. You make your day amazing, and together, friends, we'll have an amazing day. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.